Battle for Neighborville. A heated topic of conversation at the best of times. This game is like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. I think we can all agree the thing that kind of stood out the most about this game was the story mode. And by that, I mean it actually had one. Because Garden Warfare 2 don't count. No, to be fair, this game has a fully fleshed out story mode that you can play. I feel like we've never really taken the time to sit back and ask the question, how good is this story mode? And I feel like the only way we can answer that is by playing it. The whole thing. Right now. I'm literally going to sit down and play the entire thing. Let's get it. Yeah, we get it. I think I'm going to start with Town Center. Isn't this the one that everyone starts with? First, nice to meet you. I'm Vivian. Second, I didn't ask. I know this is definitely the first one that I played. Yeah, this could end up being quite a long video. I'm actually... I have no idea how long I'm going to be sat here. Do me a favor, drop a like if you like longer videos like this. I've got a dangerous mission. I can't wait to assign you. Nice to meet you too. So I'm not about to sit here and... 100% these campaigns. Each one of them kind of follows a very linear structure. You run a few missions, you fight a boss, and then that's kind of the main bit done. Outside of that, it's basically just a giant collectathon. You're just running around collecting gnomes, diamond gnomes, tapes, medals. There's so much shit you gotta collect. There's puzzles, elusive foes, mini bosses. Yeah, I'm not gonna be playing around with all that. I'm just gonna be doing the main missions and the bosses. Oh, what's up with this? Hold on. Um, am I supposed to be destroying this? I, I, I guess so. Oh, was this part of the mission? See, so we get down here. This is actually where the first boss takes place, but there's a bouncer. Bleep bloop, not cool enough. Do you know who you're talking to? Bouncer bot is programmed to only allow cool zombies inside. You are clearly uncool and unzombie. Get lost. That's just bloody rude. Defend lawnmower. Uh, oh, the lawnmower's here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this lawnmower is important. I can't actually remember why. It moves on its own, so that's already pretty special. So I just gotta go through, defend this thing until it gets back to Major Sweetie. This music doesn't need to be this intense when I'm defending a lawnmower. I like how the zombies drop tacos as well. Like, never mind the entire plot of PvZ2. Dave should have just come here. Oh, yeah, I remember now. So I have to go away and find some items that I add to the lawnmower, which then makes it like a magic lawnmower. And then I think I can destroy the bouncer and then I can get in the club. Riveting plot, I know. Uh, are you who I'm supposed to be talking to or... Are you for something else? I mate, I don't need your life story. I just want to know why you're here. Oh no, he just sells me shit. So I can convert tacos into money. I can spend tacos to reveal parts of the map. There's a victory slab and some cosmetics. Okay, well, I should probably go and find another mission. How do I look at the map again? That's the one. So this is something we never really had in the previous games. I mean, we had the backyard battleground in Garden Warfare 2, but this is like its own kind of story hub. And there's multiple hubs. So Corny Corn, I think, is probably where we want to be going. You know, one of the coolest things ever is helping out. Care to get coolest. It's a mission, I'll take it. Find Baron Von Bats and get his cool hat. Always has to be Baron Von Bats, doesn't it? Can't ever just be like a basic Gargantua or... No, 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 Baron Von Bats. Has to be one of the most obnoxious bosses they ever made. So he's gonna be down here somewhere. Are we gonna get like an entire cutscene for it? Damn. They introduced this man like they're about to add him to Smash. All right, so the fight's on. I don't think we do the whole fight down here. I'm pretty sure we like we fight him a little bit and then he goes elsewhere. He's elite rank, apparently. Well, I have Snapdragon. And he's broken. Elite that. Bat banish. I've genuinely never seen that. What the hell even happened? Did I get too close to him or? Oh, was I supposed to? Oh, it's a bat zapper. Oh, I see. You know, we really could have used this like two years ago. Oh, see, now this has just turned into Tesco Ops. Like, I didn't get enough of that shit from the last game. Did he just despawn before I could hit him? Okay, so evidently we're done with the fight here. Oh, wait, he's right there. Oh, let's get him. Hit him with a homing attack. See, you really should have been dead after that. Dude, what is it with this bat banish? Find bat zapper. Dude, he just teleported me so far away. I'm like in pressure pier now. This character's dumb. I'll say it again. This character's dumb. Uh, no. 
That was one of the most multiplayer things I've ever seen. He just spawns in and instantly goes in rocket ride. Let's get this party started. I mean, all I want is your hat. We could have talked about this. I just need your top hat for my magic lawnmower. Why is that so hard to understand? I am dying. Oh, dude. I... He really just teleported over to where I was trying to get my health back. Dick move, Baron. Got him. Add bling, a goatee, and zombie deconstruction. My kind of lawnmower. Bounty hunter extraordinaire. Oh, do I have to do these? I remember the bounty hunts. I can't remember if I have to do them in order to progress the story. Because there's multiple bounty hunts. There's not just one. There's one over here, one over here, and one all the way over here. Let's go and find Tender Leaf. There's three items that I need to make the magic lawnmower. I don't think that includes the bounty hunts. I think they're just like a... Get the fuck out! Bingo Bongo. This is where I get to do all the different multiplayer challenges, isn't it? Battle chest. That's what it's called. Yeah, this you just do for money and tacos. I'm not interested in that. Yeti's bling we're going after this time. Which means we're inevitably going to have to fight a Yeti. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. It actually says bling. Slam him. Rescue the first acorn. Good stuff. And now I destroy it. That was such an elaborate process. We've got to find two more. Keep the physics in this game sometimes. Put it down, destroy it. Defend him. Wait, do I not have to defend this one? Where are you going? Oh, he's trying to take me somewhere. Yes, what is it? It's, it's a scientist. And what exactly did we achieve there? Try here. It's a Wellington boot. That's the shiny lore. You know, for a Yeti that runs around with bling and a bag of treasure, I don't know if he's going to be that interested in a Wellington boot. But as it turns out, I stand corrected. I am in trouble. I'm in trouble because these parrots. Right, this is the last acorn. Plonk it down, destroy it. Done deal, I think. I think we may be calling for assistance. Oh, he has no idea what's coming. But we know what's up. Thank you for the bling. Find cool swag for lawnmower. You imagine showing this someone out of context and being like, yeah, that's the next mission that I've got to do in my game. <laughs> so you're looking to trash Zen Sensei and grab his goatee. It's not exactly how I imagine my day going, but here we are. Am I just going to kick the shit out of him and just rip his facial hair off him? Sorry, mate. I need that for my lawnmower. So am I supposed to start beating him up or... So bring him back through again. That's it. Okay. In the middle of the fight? Can't be hurt when he's meditating. Dang inner peace. <laughs> Finding your inner peace in this game literally makes you impervious to damage. Get on the roof and taunt Zen Sensei. It will drive him bonkers. Well, if all I have to do is get on the roof and taunt, then his meditation ain't working that well. Look at him. He's vexed. Inner peace my ass. And now he's sending his lackeys. That's even worse. He's coping so hard after I taunted him. He's literally sending his crew to come cancel me. You want to meditate a bit more, mate. One at a time, please. Doom Shroom, I need your help here. That's it. Oh, yes. Absolutely destroyed. Now give me your beard. With a pinch of glitter glue and a splash of zombie flops. That's rank. The lawnmower is now the mind blower. It's largely the same as it was before, except now it can spontaneously explode. And that was the only conceivable way that we were ever going to get past this bouncer. By blowing him up with an enchanted lawnmower. It's, do you know what? Modern problems, modern solutions. Nothing suspicious about this. Just your friendly neighborhood lawnmower. I should probably switch characters. I guess Citron. Here's the button. Down we go. Our first boss. It's old school. So here he is. Can't remember exactly how this works. Missiles is a good start. Easy. That was good damage. So you thought Snapdragon was broken? No, 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 no. This character is broken. Oh no, look at all these missiles. 
I'd hate to just kind of block them all. What a hardship that would be. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. That didn't hit me. I, I just refuse to acknowledge that it happened. And now we move. Hit it. Laser. Not bad. I'm going to have to just kind of let them hit me a little bit. He's almost dead. Got him. Oh. That was a lot easier than I remember. Oh, give me the tacos. Give me the tacos. But I'm never going to eat because they've been on the floor. And that pretty much wraps up the first part of this. Like I said, there is a lot more to each of these hubs, but I just want to cover the basics. We're just going to be going to each world. We're going to do the however many missions we have to do. We're going to hit the boss, move on to the next one. Because, like, I mean, if you want to talk about all the extra stuff, five battle chests, 50 medals, three bounty hunts, seven chests, 50 more chests, three diamond gnomes, 24 golden gnomes, 10 tapes, and three scarecrows hard pass we've technically completed seven percent so i think we're gonna move on so next up i'm thinking i want to do weirding woods plants are trapped by an invasive plant named dreadwood in the old z tech factory no one has heard from them in a very long time get to the factory to see if they're okay mate if i'm getting my ass there it ain't to see if they're okay it's to get my hands on this you know what i'm talking about team wolfie the revolution when was the last time you heard me say that probably the last time I played this game. So this is the Weirding Woods, where, yes, trees grow that quickly. I remember this world being quite good. Talk to me if you want to live. Well, I certainly want to live, but I'm, uh, I'm afraid you, on the other hand. I'm Izzy, scout leader and badge badger extraordinaire. Don't follow the road to the factory and you're good. Okay, well, you realize now that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're off to find the factory. Oh, squash. Hold on. Dude, what is with the sudden earthquake from out of nowhere? So the factory's over this way. I see the signs well up kept. Dummy, why or why did I let you stay in the deadly, deadly factory? Okay, so he's upset that he lost his inanimate object. Don't worry, lads. Oh, you're celebrating. I killed him. You ever get people like that in multiplayer? Like, they come and teabag your corpse even though they weren't even the one that killed you? Oh, that pisses me off so much. Bro, if you're gonna chat shit, at least be the one who killed me. I think this guy sells all the stuff. He sells the stuff. How much is Team Wolfie? 300 marshmallows and 35 medals. Yeah, so we're not getting that. Strange zombie, we need help. Please tell me you dumb enough to help us. Yeah. Sure, I failed all my exams. <laughs> when you bust a nut and she keeps sucking. I don't know how you lose these dummies. Like, they're not exactly small. And I'm pretty certain once you put them down, you can't move them. So, like, I ask again, how did you lose it? Ugh. A one hole damage. Let's get it. Can't remember how it is I kill them. Do I have to shoot them in a specific place? Or maybe if I shoot them, like, directly in the eye? No, that... It did more than one. I probably picked the wrong character for this, considering Space Cadet kind of locks on to a... That's it. Okay, do you know what? You want to go into boss mode? I can do the same. Yeah, I can take those hits all day. Don't you worry about me, mate. As a matter of fact, the next time you come up, it's over for you. Ooh, now we're talking. That did so much damage. Bro. I don't see how killing him solves the mystery of where the dummy went. Find a missing boombox parts. Oh, hi, big man. What's up? Ugh. Speaking of big man... I'm hearing in the grapevine they added him to Pokemon Unite. And they're going to add Scizor as well. Guys, stop. I'm not playing Pokemon Unite again. So don't even think about adding Zangoose. So this is the battle chest. That's cool. We don't need to worry about that. Oh yeah, every time you come in the swamp, the Dreadroot starts showing up. I'm Barbarian, Director of Brains Pillaging and Dr. Zomboss's favorite brains finder. Okay, no, this is the bounty hunt. Bro, where can I get some actual missions? Here we go. Sacred Batteries. Becoming one with the done. Oh, I did that a long time ago. If anything, I coined it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happened here? Okay. So the dummy's been here the whole time. You just have to get high before you can see it. Oh my god. I am tripping hard. I don't know what they just gave me, but this is such a weird mission. All right. Oh, nightcap. 
Oh, yeah, you know that thing where you can go invisible? Yeah, I sort of have aimbot. Dummies protect them for dumbness sake. God, I used to love playing Space Cadet. This character is actually really fun. Did it really say, don't think of my worst fear, and then it spawned a chomper? How do they know? Think of the dumbest place on Earth. Twitter. Hey, I got it right. I'm gonna go back to Izzy because I feel like she was supposed to actually give us a mission, but didn't. Here we go. I need stickers. I mean, who doesn't love stickers? The cult is now sending me on a wild goose chase to find biscuits because that's gonna help us defeat the Dreadwood. Follow the cookie smell. There's actually a cookie smell meter. Now I'm definitely getting a whiff of something in this direction. <laughs> yeah, Your cookies in here. I mean, it's half eaten. Is that okay? It wasn't me, I promise. Triple kill. Killing spree. I'm running out of health. Where the biscuit at? That'll teach him to prevent forest fires. Because that's a bad thing. How dare you preserve nature? Oh, there's cookies over here, definitely. Yup. That did, like, no damage to her. Never mind cookies, I smell cat. Dig them up. No. Oh, that's, um, that's quite the cookie we just found. <laughs> that looked painful. That went, like, right up his ass. Really? I only got one of them. Nice. Close. She's never doing that again. Just so many times. Oh, there's way too many. Can we, like, get a tree up her ass? Hey, there we go. He survived. Uh-oh. I, I don't think that's going to save you. That's like if someone dropped a stick of dynamite in front of me and I just did that. Can't get me, I'm safe. So this is the last one. Be kind, rewind. Oh, this is the one with the washing machine. Oh, I remember this one. By the way, I'm not crying. My eyes are just sweaty from all the sports I did just before you got here. Bruh. Imagine if your eyeballs sweat. That that just sounds grim. I'm not even really sure how to commentate this. I'm running around with a washing machine. The acorn is bullying Washi. Stop his cruel yodeling. Sorry, did I hear some bullying going on? Oh, I missed. <laughs> I forget the aim of this mission. It's just just following a washing machine around. I guess he, he's, he's got places to be. Oh, more bullying. Last oh, one's hiding all the way up here. Got him. Start rinse cycle. Did we really have to come all the way over here to do that? Sorry, he's rinsing band in that part of the camp. Spin cycle's next. Where, where do we have to go for that? Not allowed to rinse over there, not allowed to spin here. We have to be in very specific locations to do specific parts of this. Yeah, you know what's up. Look up at your impending doom. All right, spin cycle. Find an awful lot of acorns. Kind of makes me think there's going to be a torchwood at some point. You are the champions. I'm the champion. I have to inspire the washing machine now. Dude, my tape was in there. Oh, you're really gonna try and run away with it? Yeah, no. Got him. I'll have that back, please. Lullaby tape. So that's all three parts. You're here and you've got the sacred batteries, lullaby tape, and cool stickers. Once I fix boombox, you make Dreadwood sleep so you can sneak in close. That's what it's for. Yeah, because you make this thing and then you play it and it like changes up the whole, like all the enemies and everything. But if I remember correctly, doesn't it replace everything with hypno shrooms? Why would I want to do that? These are the bits that we now get access to. Can I test my theory? Yep. Hypno shrooms everywhere. You can keep that because it's time for the second boss. Dread wood. 
Here we are. We hit this here button. Jump up on this here ledge. Up the top. And we found him. He is asleep. Let's get this started. Yeah, that's going to wake him up. We are fighting a giant tree. Jump in the station. That way I can take many more hits. Get his health down a lot quicker. Shame I can't use the crater maker. Is there another one I gotta get? Yep, there's two more. There's the one, and there's the two. Oh shit, 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 shit. Move! Ooh. Okay, I'm kind of dying here. Oh, he's doing this now. This suddenly turned into jump showdown. It's all right. I won a jump showdown earlier. And there was a fan. You ain't shit. Mate, it's easy. You're never, ever going to hit me with that. Excuse me. I'm running out of cover. Oh, he's going back the other way. Oh, okay. Yeah, what did I say about that was never going to hit me? Oh, can you lot just piss off? Up, up, and away. I'm just going to kind of try and ignore the rest of them and just finish this. Final stretch. Oh, he's doing it again! No! Just go, just go, just go. Just kill him, kill him, kill him. No letting up. Just get him. Ugh! Yes. Dreadwood is done. And he throws up marshmallows. Well, you know what they say. Five second rule. On to the next one. So Mount Steep is up next. Basically, if you haven't figured out the structure of how this works yet, we go to each location. There's a big bad boss behind a big bad door. And the only way we can get to the big bad boss behind the big bad door is to traverse the map, collecting several different items that make up the magical bullshit MacGuffin that gets us through the door to the boss. And then we kill the boss. Pretty much that's how this works. And today's bullshit MacGuffin is a harmonica. Sorry, I used to explode, but I've got tools to manage my excitement. That's a good point. It must suck being a dandelion. If anything excites you too much, then you just explode. Would you have to just like deliberately live the most miserable life possible? So we're going to the cheese pumping station. Yeah, in this map, they have like an entire pipeline of molten cheese. And like there's a whole factory that produces it. You know, this cheese hurts you if you jump in it. It does. Literally volcanic cheese. The zombies broke the pipeline. All the cheese is pouring into the mines. Oh, that doesn't sound good. This is bad. You've got to find their secret plans. Well, I hope these plans don't excite him or anything, because, you know... Now that I know how that works, <laughs> I'd feel kind of bad if I just made him blow up. Zombies block the way with hard, moldy cheese. You're trapped. I mean, to be fair, some people like moldy cheese. I've, I can't say that I've ever really understood it myself. I don't know, maybe I'm a bit weird. I prefer my food in date if it's all the same. Do you know what? We're just going in Gatling. I have not the patience. All right then, Dandelion, so what's the master plan? Parmageddon. Recipe for easy, cheesy brains. Fill mountain with cheese, block core of mines, and bring to boil. When mountain explodes, molten cheese on brains, dig in, serves lots. So you're telling me their whole evil plan is just to make macaroni. I could eat macaroni. I've got to learn the harmonica. I need sheet music, an instructional podcast, and a grizzle cowboy's hat. What? What? Why do I need that? How is that going to help me learn how to play a harmonica? I think that's our big bad door. It's covered in the moldy cheese. I mean, can we can we not just blow it up? Like, what is it? Moldy cheese or vibranium? Okay, so this is to get the sheet music. See, that actually sounds useful. Will you be my posse? Oh, I think I remember this one. Isn't there some part in this where I have to take part in a pie eating contest? I don't know why. For some reason, I remember something about a pie eating contest. And I don't really remember anything else about this world apart from the boss. Dude, the boss in this one is badass. This one easily has the best boss. Got him. 67 out of 50. I mean, if that doesn't count as a win, then I don't know what does. They were well impressed with that. Compete in pie eating. All right. I forget how you do this. Oh, have I got to just mash? I was going pretty quick. But he ate like 20 pies. I, I don't really think that was a level playing field. I get to choose my posse members. Okay. Well, I want Big Man. I want Citron. And I want Snapdragon. The Chomper is not happy that he didn't get picked. <laughs> he is livid. So he's been wiped out by Tumbleweed. 
I mean, you gotta be the flimsiest pea shooter ever. How do you get wiped out by tumbleweed? I mean, are your joke's just that bad. Uh, so we gotta defend the jail door. Oh, we're preparing. Oh, it's ops. Of, of course, course it's ops. ops. I can't escape it, no matter how far I run. See, I got splash damage. It's gonna be a piece of piss. Is he gonna go for that? Mm. Good enough. How do you feel about getting attacked from the other side? Whoa, slow down there, player. This man means business. Oh, really? Oh. How's it going? Oh, dear. You think your posse's cool? Your posse sucks. Bring it, mate. Look, soldier's already dead. Get out of here. That was your posse? All you got left is this guy. Wannabe Super Saiyan looking ass. Thank you for your business. We went through all of that for a piece of paper. Honestly, like you get to a point in this game where you just stop asking questions. Looking for the grizzled cowboy's hat. Yeah, apparently. Apparently this hat is essential to my being able to play a harmonica to get through a moldy cheese door. <laughs> to stop the invasion of the volcanic cheese. Oh, there it is. Imagine if it was that easy to fix shit in real life. Done. The door is open. Oh, well, to hell with the hat then. Guess we don't need that anymore. I ain't diving down there to get it. What a grizzling escape. Hat, schmat, your soul is grizzled and... Wait, so we didn't even need that... We didn't even need the hat in the first place. No, it wasn't about the hat. It was about the friends that we made along the way. Piss off. You just wasted 10 minutes of my life. I want that back. Last, we need the instructional podcast. Name's Alice, but I go by Exposition Owl because I'm a backstory teller. Now, here's a good one. Once a hero stopped a hot cheese volcano by getting mouse flies to unplug the core of the mines so the hero could run in and stop the zombies from heating the cheese in the mines core. The hero did it by mastering harmonica, which mouse flies love. Oh, so all those little flies that destroyed the cheese before, I used the harmonica to command them. Well, why didn't you just say? Uh, we kind of need that. Oh, they're going to rip it up. Well, we're shit out of luck, boys. Yo, when are we getting nightcap in PvZ2? I've seen her on the loading screen. I know she's coming. The most unnecessary fung fu ever. I wonder if I could do that. Eh, uh, kind of. Oh, gold gnome. I see that. Ooh. Oh, wait, what the hell? I don't want to play catch the gnome. I have errands to run. That's all six pieces. Who the hell was put in charge of that animation? Oh, I guess X marks the spot. Give me my podcast. And the Met Gargantua to go with it. I reckon I can kill this thing easy. See, one of the things I like about Nightcap, fixed damage. No matter what range, always hitting 18. His aimbotting me doesn't really help. Is this technically cheating? I think we've gone beyond head glitching here. What an exhilarating fight this is. Got him. So we got the sheet music, instructional podcast, and the grizzled cowboy experience. Gosh, experience. That's better than a hat. Yeah, see, I didn't need you to explain that to me. You're the one who sent me on the wild goose chase. Here we are. Play the harmonica. Mm, send them there. There you have it. Next boss... Let's do it. Major problem. There it is. Cheese to meet you too. Oh, he's already attacking me. Hold on. Take cover. Nice. Go for the other one. Oh, shit. Oh, why are you here? Just keep hitting them lights. Keep hitting them lights. Oh. 
I probably could have picked a better character for this. Nightcap doesn't exactly have the kind of survivability you tend to want. It's fine. We'll make it work. Oh, we gotta go. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, that's a flamethrower. Oh, sick and tired of these things. Get out. Keep going, keep going. Oh, where's he going? Jesus Christ. What is it with bosses in this game trying to impale me through my asshole? All right, halfway there. Oh, is he going to try and impale me again? I'm ready for it. Oh, he's doing this again. How much higher are we going to go? Oh! Oh my god, again with you assholes. Come on, we're so close. We're so close. That's it. He's done. Oh. Oh, we got him. Go, cool. Bennett. Thank you for the badges. And good night. One world left. We are going back to the town center, but on the zombies. And this time it's going to be a whole different kettle of fish. There's an unzombie outbreak in town center. The entire zombie way of life is under attack. You must help doctor real doctor find the cure <laughs> the hell did you get your phd you're fresh i mean you help me with some serious sciencey stuff okay i can help you out with some hygiene follow doctor nurse doctor so we got all this weird fungus oh okay okay yeah don't touch the fungus that's uh <laughs> that's class a legislation dictates i shouldn't be anywhere near that can you just walk in a straight line? Have you been touching the weird mushrooms? You're a doctor, you should know better. Eat toilet paper. Go on, sure. Still not infected. I'm, I mean, I should hope not. What, what am I trying to do here? Oh, well, we're gonna have to smell the fungus. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're infected now. Brains are gross, too much gluten. What did you just say? Come back so I can science you. That could be taken one or two ways. Technically, biology is a science. Do you know what? That's going to be my next chat up line. You want to come over to mine so I can science you? <laughs> yeah, I'll be on here the following day telling you about how I got nicked. Spent the night in a prison cell. Get parts to make the stink bomb. I'm sure I can manage. I was going to dance my way to the ancient fartifact, but I lost the beat. How have we been through three of these worlds and this is somehow the weirdest one? I really thought I'd seen the worst. All right, so we've got to power up the float. And then follow it, I guess. Put up four posters to promote this parade. We always have to, like, overcomplicate everything. Oh, we need to go and rob a museum. I could have just done that. Where was I putting this last poster? Here. All right. That was weird. Right, we finally reached the museum. Oh, a spooky squash. I see, I see. I'm like being back in the town hall again. I don't remember him being this easy in the town hall. Oh, he's close. And he's out of here. Well, let me get my fight fact. It's like an entire sarcophagus. I, I hope that was going where we need it to. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, don't even start with the hypno shrooms. Don't even start. What's in the box? Other than a horrible smell. Oh, it was it was a giant fart. You know what? Worth. Wait a minute. I got one. Okay, so this is to get the detonator. That would be helpful. Find Brian. Revenge, huh? Better hit me with a sick burn. Um, Annihilate. You jerky jerk jerk. <laughs> now that wasn't good. Come on. We can do better than that. I personally would have brought his mum into it. Like, yeah, your mum is a jerky jerk jerk. <laughs> Suck on them nuts. You're mine, Vinny Garth. Got him. Kind of a name is that anyway. Can I have another chance to insult Brian? Like, I want to make it really personal. No more weak insults. Demolish. Go back to the club sandwich you crawled off of. I'm Norm, need help, just ask. 
Need a nice pair of slacks or some warm milk. A loose balloon. Why didn't you say so? Yes, I would like the loose balloon. Storm the TV station. Oh man, that means we've got to go all the way to the top of the hill. All right, fine. Some big cannons. Oh, we got to be careful. Nice knowing you. All right, let's try and not get squashed by giant johnnies. I've got to go quick, 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 quick. Ooh! Oh, that works. Take him out for me. Oh, nailed it. Nailed myself in the process. How the hell am I going to do this? Can I go this way? No, I cannot go that way. The one. Two. Shit, the bed. I am dead. Thanks, Goop Shroom. Three. And four. Oh, the balloon's there. Why are we throwing rocks at it? How likely do you think that is to make it come down? Intact. The balloon is now in the tree. And there's a torchwood, of course. Because why wouldn't there be a torchwood? Got him. Now, I want my balloon. I think that is all three parts. Eureka. You got all the stink bomb parts. I'll assemble it in my rear lab. <laughs> Charming. Now we can open the big bad door to Blightcap. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot the boss of this world is a giant nightcap. I don't actually recall her being that bad. I mean, it's a good way to end it. I'm on my Wii from misery to happiness today. Oh, to Do the thing. Almost. Ugh. Actually, what else can I do with this thing? Let's direct it back round. Back this way. Oh, you're getting blown up with this. Kaboom. <laughs> totally worth it. This is it. The last of the four bosses. It has been a hell of a journey. We have traversed many different parts of Neighborville. The Weirding Woods, Mount Steep. Been to town center already. We're ending it where we started it. Against a big ass nightcap. You see, for a lot of people, this is their worst nightmare. I'm main nightcap, so I'm just like, how do I get to play as this thing? Careful. Good hit. Oh, I'm back here. Let's go, 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 go. Give me the rubbish. Put it in the launcher. Get these dandelions out of here. I know it's all very exciting, and that's exactly what makes you blow up. That has been an education of sorts. Oh, shit. You don't know I'm here. I actually don't think she does know I'm here. Hit it. Nailed it. Oh, yeah, that stinks. What is that? Okay, let's just calm down a little bit. Wait, let me get up on here. Can she even hit me when I'm up here? I mean, with that, probably. Oh, we're doing this again. I don't know how many times i got to do this. The whole dustbin diving thing's not really my bag. Get it? Not my bag. Rubbish bag. Been there, done that. Put the shit in the chute. Charge the missile. Get the hell away from me. Fire the stink bomb. Right in the back of the head. Right now, I want back up on here. I'm going to have to do this one more time, aren't I? Oh, shit. She actually knocked me down. Oh, she can... Oh, okay, okay. So the Doom Shrooms can be dropped on top of the little hut. That's worth noting. Jump over it. And again. Getting the hang of this now. Jump shot. Oh, we're getting her. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. You know how we got to end this. There's only one way we can end this campaign. The only way. We know how. She's done. Let me just back up a little bit. It is done. We finished it. The entire... BFN campaign 
in one go. I may or may not have done this across multiple days, and I may or may not have ultimately done 4% of each world. But we have done all the missions, we've beaten all the bosses. So, I mean, technically we have done the whole story, we just haven't done, like, any of the extra shit. But lads, I think that is where we're gonna call it a day. This has been a hell of a project. I've actually really enjoyed doing this. I said I wanted to sit down and I wanted to take on some bigger projects, try and get some longer videos out there. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this. If you want to see more stuff like this again in the future, I would love to do some more like beefy projects like this, especially now we're sort of coming to the end of the PVZ2 adventure as well. I want to see if I can start getting a bit of variety back in here. There's so many games that I could do this for, but it's uh, uh, it's a question of whether or not you want to see it. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I know we've been rocking with the green screen for a little bit. I've been moving some stuff around with the setup and I just kind of brought that in while I was doing all that. Should have it all sorted out for next time. So it should be back to normal. And just, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And now I suppose you want in the answer to the question, just how good is the BFN campaign? It's mid. It's <laughs> mid.